Okay, so I'm going to try and show you how I created the auras for my students' patterns. What I've prepared ahead of time is a printout of my pattern that I created as a demo for my students, as well as the video of the explanation of my pattern, which I created using the Show Me app. Okay, let's get started. We're going to go to Aurasma, which is the purple A. Let me bring that a bit closer for everybody to see. Okay, and it's going to go straight to the camera here. And what you want to do is go to this logo of Aurasma, the A. And we're going to create a new aura, so we're going to press the plus sign. We're going to go to device. And from here, you are going to click the plus again to add your video from your photo album or videotape it then and there with your camera. In my case, I already have uploaded my video to Arasma, and here it is right here. It's going to play for you, so you can check if it's really the one you want. My pattern. Yep, that's the one I want. And now it goes back to the camera so that you can create a trigger image. So we're going to need my printout right here. And I want it to go horizontally, so let's do it this way. All right, now at the side, you're going to see this little bar, which tells you if the trigger image is a strong trigger image or not. And obviously, you can see here, it's not really working. And I found that with photo printouts, it's a bit difficult especially if they're not really detailed photos. So what I did was I put some like random other printout under it. Let me show you. So here's like one of my bills. Just to create a bit more detail. Let's try this one more time to see if our little dot goes up to green here. And there we go. It's now a detailed enough trigger image. I'm gonna go ahead and click the purple camera right here. Let me get that in place again. Here we go. My pattern. And then you can see the video hovers over a, the trigger image. B, and you can resize a, it or rotate it however you want. A, I want it to fill the screen, so I'm going to leave it there. It and click the purple a, arrow to keep a, going. B, because I'm doing four holes, two holes, four holes, two. Okay. At this point, I need to give it a name, so let's call it my pattern. And it needs to be made public so that anybody using the app will be able to see the video when they hover over the trigger image and finish. All right, now I'm gonna take this paper away and let's see if it actually works. There we go. My pattern is an A, B, And there B. you have it. The video will continue playing on a loop for as long as you are hovering over the trigger image. And that's how I made them.